I'm so excited that we are on board here to be the DJ, the in-house resident DJ for this venue, and uh, it's gonna be awesome. Yo, what's going on guys? It's DJ Rick Webb. Welcome back to the channel. And as the thumbnail shows, we are back at the venue for part two of the install because it's been taking, it, it takes a while. Anyways, a lot has changed since we've last been in here. I mean, the, the floors are now polished which is awesome. We got the chandeliers in. It's coming together, which is awesome. They laid a lot of pavers outside. They got the seat, it, the, the whole land is seated down. So a lot of stuff is changing. Later on this week, they're actually gonna be installing TVs, projectors, all kinds of awesome stuff. And I am here, as you guys know, I've already installed six pennant speakers. You can kind of see them up there, JBL. Uh, contractor control series pennant speakers. But today, we are installing a JBL PRX 818 XLF subwoofer. We're actually gonna be doing it, um, if you guys were watching a gig log, I mentioned that we're gonna build a shelf up here. We x made that, we're actually just gonna put it up here in the corner on the railing right there. So that's where we're gonna be mounting that up. As well as I have another two of the controller pennant series speakers. These are the, um, the 67 PTs. Up there are the 67 HCs. Um, so those are for high ceiling. They have a narrow output, um, which is what high ceilings, I hope that makes sense. These are the normal ones, and they're gonna go up there. We're gonna put two of them up there, and that's gonna cover the sound up there. And then Andrew, the owner of the property and all that, uh, he has a couple outdoor speakers from his house he's gonna bring that we're gonna wire up outside, maybe today. That might be the third edition of this install vlog series. But today, we're doing those two items, as well as I have some wiring to do on the switches. So the volume switches, we have three different zones up there, down here in the main, and then outside. So I need to put in all three of those volume knobs as well as a source selector so that they can select the source and I have two DJ input ports XLR ports that we're putting on one on this end and one on this end so that the DJ can hook up and when I say DJ I, I mean us because FSL my company fusion sound lighting we are pretty much the only well we are gonna be the only DJ out here as long as we're available. We're literally the, the on-site resident DJ service for this venue, which is awesome because they plan on doing a lot of weddings in the near future when we open up. So on note of the current situation though right now, one, I still do not have power, which is why I have my, my handy fan here. We're running ex extension cords from where the, the power source is because they do not have the certificate yet. They still have to get the inspections done for the approval for the electric, which also means that the AC is not running. So I actually got some wiring to take care of back at behind the amp rack uh, to wire up the right wire that goes to where the subwoofer is going to be. Uh, one thing when I was first putting all of this in, when you saw the original one, when we were putting all the wiring into the framework and stuff, I ran multiple XLR cables so that potentially I had the idea that he was going to want to add a sub, which he did. Um, so I've ran XLR cables up on both sides, extra ones to use for whatever we need. So that's what I'm going to do. Did you guys see how I unboxed that and flipped it over and all that? They actually tell you in the instructions to do it that way. Also, that's just the smart way. When you're dealing with a big heavy sub like that, that's just the easy way to do it. But anyways, there it is in all its glory, the JBL Purex 818 XLF subwoofer. Look at it, look at it, look at it, it's glorious. It's glorious. All right, now, the fun part for me is to carry it up the stairs over there, all the way up to this corner right here. So enjoy. I'll hook my computer up to like show you guys what it sounds like with and without the sub on, but like. It hits and I'm not even, I'm not even pushing it. I could go a lot louder with it. Solid. So just wanted to update you guys on what has gone down so far. First off, you can't tell. I'm sweating like no tomorrow. Went and got lunch, but I've been working on just wiring, which is kind of boring to watch. So I haven't really been showing it, but I've been running all of the wiring for our control switches. So to the Zone Pro. So coming up the staircase, uh, we have the 
volume control right here. This one is for upstairs, so the two speakers that I'm about to hang up there. This is the volume control for that set of speakers. If we come down the stairs, right beside the front door here, we have two controllers. Obviously, these are gonna be mounted into an actual box, so that way um, they're clean. But right here, we have a, another volume control. This one's for the main room and the master source selector. So we have four different sources. Those sources would be the Bluetooth connector, the projector system, and then DJ input one and input two. So the DJ inputs are gonna be, uh, one of them's gonna be over here. So these are two XLR cables that I will eventually route into an XLR tap-in box. There's one here, one across the way. Right here is the other tap for the DJ. So right there's the wires. But yeah, right there beside the outlet is another XLR box that's gonna go there. And then I have a wire running all the way up here that's gonna to go to the speakers that go outside. And we have another Zone Pro controller box over here with volume control. This one's gonna be mounted up for the outside speakers. So that way we have three zone controls. So that way you can control the audio in the main area, upstairs and outside. And then you got the master source selector to select the source that you're gonna be using for all of them. The wireless microphones that we got run across the board on every one of the channels regardless. Obviously it's, it's controlled by the volume, but the wireless microphone will cut through basically everything and be controlled that way. So the next stage, which is honestly kind of like one of the last things I gotta do is to go upstairs and install the next set of speakers. And then I'm waiting on Andrew to bring me the next set that's going to be outside. So there's that. That is both of those speakers all done. All right guys, that wraps up what we were going to be accomplishing today, which was installing the two speakers up there, putting in the subwoofer, and then finishing up uh, most of the wiring in here. So all the wiring is now ran to where it needs to be. Uh, last little things. Last little things I gotta do is mount the actual volume control switches, mount the two XLR inputs for the DJ, AKA us, and then hang the outdoor speakers, which I don't have. So once again, that is all for uh, this day's work of work. This day's work of work. Yeah, I will see you guys next time I come here and we'll finish up the rest of the stuff and this install will be finished and we'll be back out here uh, to start doing events, which is gonna be sick. And next time I come here, the AC will be working, which much needed. It's like 90 plus in here. It's like 100 up there. It's bad. What's up? Welcome back to the venue. And as you can see behind me, a lot has changed. I don't, I don't even remember when the last time I was out here, honestly. It's been like two, maybe three months since I've been out here last. But I'm finally back to finish the final bit of the install, which is basically hanging the two outside speakers that the owner bought. We have these Polk Audio Atriums. Looks like maybe a six and a half inch speaker. We'll be hanging two of those outside. Then all we gotta do is wire up the DJ plugs, which are on either side. And that's pretty much all there is left for this install. But a lot has changed since I've been out here. AC's finally in, it's working, it's beautiful. Uh, and they also finished up all of their fancy tables. Check these out, these things are sick. So we got a lot of the tables finished, a lot of the other stuff is finished. The railing is in now, the railing looks dope. We got TVs in, we got a variety of different TVs. We got projector systems up there, there's a projector system up there too. Although the lighting is coming together, the bathrooms are coming together. Here, let me take you. Take you in the bathroom real quick. All activated on the door. Got the bathrooms in here. Women's bathroom over there. We got the kitchen. We got the motion activated lights everywhere, which are sick. This kitchen is going to be sick. Really did the kitchen out nice. And then back here, we got the bridal suite. Check this out. They got a little hangout area they're gonna have over here. And then over here, they got basically the vanities for all of the girls to get ready. Check this out. We got the touch activated mirrors for the lights. That's sick. And then they got their own little bathroom, little powder room bathroom back there. Really cool, really coming together nicely. I love it. All of our switches are now properly installed with the volume controls. This is the source selector to select between all the sources. I'm gonna label those eventually here. We got the lighting. The lighting's not even on here. Ooh, look at that. Get the lighting. I'm assuming this dims and brightens them. I don't know if they're getting dimmer or not. Yo, my bad. So I started to hang the speakers and I completely was like, oh yeah, I'm not filming. So I'm hanging the outdoor speakers right now. I've already ran the wiring. It's up there, but basically I'm gonna run the wiring down to here and run the wiring on the inside over to the other side and I'm gonna mount both of the speakers up just above 
this doorway right here on the pole right there to basically cover this outdoor area. Now later down the line, if we want to upgrade, we could install the exact same JBL pennants that we have inside up here in these rafters. But for now, we're using the owner speakers and uh, we're gonna hook them up that way and we're gonna run them on eight ohm with the crown amp versus the 100 or the 70 volt system that we got on the inside. So it's the nice part about the amp, it's a switchable amp so we can run on either eight ohms, 100 volts or 70 volts. So basically it's expandable down the line. And if we wanna add more speakers out here, say we wanna add some on the sides here or whatnot, we can do that later on because we have plenty of power to work with and the wires already ran, which is nice. I'm gonna to get to hanging this speaker and uh, I'll see you guys in a bit. Well, if I haven't shown you guys, check out the stone work they've done. So this is the outdoor patio space. Ignore all the geese shit right there and right there. But uh, this is the outdoor space and they're gonna have ceremonies down on this end right here. Obviously they got some landscaping to do and stuff in the meantime, but this is kind of the outdoor ceremony area out here. And uh, this is the nice little walkway. And then this all opens up here, that opens up there. It's really nice indoor outdoor concept. And down there, they haven't really started much on it, but they're building cabins down there for uh, the bridegroom and parents to stay at while they have weddings down here. Oh, and if I haven't already mentioned, today is September 8th and we have a wedding, the first wedding out here in 10 days. September uh, 18th, I believe, September 18th or 19th is the first wedding out here. I will not be the one doing the wedding. It's actually gonna be Marcellus, but we're gonna be doing the first wedding out here and it's a banger. We got up lighting, we got movers, we got lights, we got ceremony. It's gonna be dope. We got a monogram. So I'll try and get you guys footage of that or at least get Marcellus to take footage so that we can show you guys what all went down at this venue for the first wedding out here. Really excited to be working with the venue out here to be doing all the weddings that they got. Uh, super blessed, super excited. But anyways, I got speakers to install. The outdoor speakers are fully installed. So we got the volume switch control right here so we can turn it up a little bit. So we got the speaker over there and the speaker right there, all installed. And it's all on volume control, so we can turn the speakers off out there. Volume's still playing here because we got three different zones. Alright guys, the install is officially complete. Done, done, done. You guys have already seen the first video on the install. If you haven't, go check it out. But this has been going on, like I quoted this out in March. This was just a framework in March. And now the venue is practically done. And in two weeks, the first official wedding at this venue is going to take place. I'm super excited. We're in Morrisville, North Carolina, if anybody didn't know. The owner was just telling me that he officially bought all the acreage on the other side up here. And they're going to build a giant 100 car parking lot. They're going to build a giant 100 car parking lot. We're gonna build a tree house resort up there. It's going to be a dope thing. So this is like kind of the staple thing that's gonna start this all off. We're gonna have a wedding venue. They're gonna have a resort here. So many years down the road, this is going to be a super dope spot. It's just in the initial phases right now. And I'm so excited to be on board and part of this journey basically for this venue and for this, for the owner and everything. So I'm really excited. But uh, let me take you guys through. If you guys don't know this sound system, you don't know anything about it. Uh, let me start you guys off with the central amp rack that basically houses all the goodies for this install. So they still have to put a door on this. We're gonna put a door on this, but this is the central amp rack control station basically. We have our Furman power strip up top here. We also have a Bluetooth adapter kind of tucked up here. This is an extended Bluetooth range. This Bluetooth adapter is awesome. You can literally get Bluetooth signal from outside to this thing. So super HD quality Bluetooth adapter. I'll link it down below. This thing's actually not that expensive and highly recommend it. Really good. We're uh, rocking two GTD audio wireless microphones. He just really couldn't afford to put any really good mics in here yet. So we're starting off with a couple GTDs just to have microphones in case they have a corporate event or something like that. Obviously we're going to bring our microphones and use our microphones, our nice Audio Technica 3000 fourth gens. If we do the event. So if they do need mics and we're not here, they have those. The main processing for all of the audio, all of the switches that I'm gonna show you, all of the zones is the DBX Zone Control Pro 640. This is what is doing everything. So this is the Zone Control 640. You might've seen earlier, I had my laptop hooked up to it. I can basically tune and control all of the parameters for the switches and the different zone outputs and the everything is controlled through this thing. It's a powerhouse unit. Then all of the speakers, except for the 
subwoofer are being powered by the Crown CDI 4x300. And you can kind of see right there's a readout of all four zones. Two of the zones are linked together and I will get to that here in a second. So in the main room right here, there's six speakers up here. They're the JBL Control 67HCs. So that means for high ceiling. Basically they're designed for high ceiling, high reverberation applications, which is this room entirely. I mean, it's concrete floors, it echoes like crazy, but because we're using pendant speakers, we're firing straight down and they have a narrow coverage pattern. All six of these provide amazing sound and literally probably the best sound that you could put into this venue. It sounds amazing. The amp is actually using two of its four channel outputs to power these six main speakers. So three of them are on one channel of the amp, three of them are on the other channel of the amp. Now I went into detail on this in the first video, but wiring wise, it's not a traditional passive system. The JBL control speakers are all running on a 70 volt line. And basically what that means is the amp sends a 70 volt line and then the speakers have a little tap selector on them go check out the first video if you don't know what i'm talking about but you can tap them out however many watts you want and we got all of these running on 60 watts except for the ones up top they're running on 30 watts the outside speakers though those are traditional like home style speakers that you would have we're running them on an eight ohm circuit so a little bit different but the fact that the amp has four different channels and you can select 70 volts 100 volts or eight ohms allows you to do that so all six of these main speakers right here are controlled off of the switches that are all throughout the venue. So let me show you the first main switches. Right by the front door here, we have the main volume control right here. This is for the main room. And then this is our source selector. I need to put a label right here on what all these are, but basically A is our Bluetooth, B is for our projector, C is DJ input one, which is down here. And then D is DJ input two, which is on the other side of the venue. We have XLR taps for DJs ready to go. By that I mean for us, ready to go. I can uh, turn up my Bluetooth source real quick. We're playing uh, Juice World right now. You can hear up the upstairs zone right now, but uh, the main zone's turned down, so I can turn it up. And of course, yes, I need to label this as the main zone. So this is for the main, all six speakers in the sub, the sub that I'll show you guys up top, run on the main zone. So this main, switch right here turns the main speakers on. So we can go up top though, up these stairs. Here, let me show you where I'm walking. So we can walk up these stairs right here. Got this nice metal railing right here. But up here at the top of the stairs is the switch for our two speakers up here. So if I turn this up, we got volume up here. And for copyright reasons, I'm gonna not play music. So this is kind of like the extended seating area. So there's plenty of room up here basically to have a good amount of people sitting up here. So you have your main area down here and then you have more seating up here for additional guests. We have two of the JBL. These are just the normal 67 PTs. So these have a full wide range coverage. They can easily cover all of the area up here. So we got two of those hanging up here and those are on the separate controls. And then tucked over here in the corner, we have the sub for the whole entire venue. And this is the JBL Pyrex 818 XLF. This is a powered sub as you guys know right here is the power input for it so we drop the power line right here good to go turns on and this sub is all we need in this venue believe it or not because this room has so much reverberation in it that one sub easily covers this whole entire room and it's plenty of bass it bumps so i got one more control switch to show you guys and the speakers outside which I just installed today as you guys saw the Polk Audio Atrium 6s. So right here is our last volume control and it's for the speakers outside. So if I open these doors, these doors completely open by the way. So these are sliding doors. You can open all of this up. So you get a big nice open area. That one does the same and that one on the side does it. So you can literally in like the spring and fall time open this all up. Turn the AC off, crank the fans on. The volume control here is I turn the volume up. You can hear the volume on the two Polk Audio Atrium 6s that we installed. There you go. And like I mentioned, originally on the original quote, I did have just putting two more JBL Control 67 uh, HCTs, the same ones that are in there with the outdoor covers. We're gonna put two of them up in this atrium. That way it was all unison speakers throughout, but they're significantly more expensive than these Polk Audios. And these Polk Audios, the owner actually had just chilling at his place. So they were extra speakers that he had laying around. So we utilize them. They sound good out here. We're not really trying to crank it and be super loud outside on this area. It's more of a chill spot. So they work out really well. Then as I come around the corner here, we have the wonderful stairs. Nice stone work here, leading out to the ceremony site area. And this is the only thing that we really don't have speakers for and we don't have, uh, we have to bring equipment for. So obviously this is all gonna be dressed up here eventually, but this is where the ceremonies are gonna happen. They're gonna get married right here and you get the big overlook of everything 
out back here. So this is the one thing that will basically bring an LD system Maui 5 Go for, and we'll bring our little audio rack out here with our microphones for our ceremony, and this is where we'll do the ceremony services. Well guys, that is everything for the venue sound install. The project is completely over with, unless we do expansions later on, obviously. But first wedding is coming up in two weeks, actually less than two weeks less than two weeks, one and a half weeks. So be on the lookout for the next gig log coming up. I have a different wedding going on, but I'll definitely get footage. We're coming here Friday and we're gonna set up all the stuff. We're doing a lot of stuff like I mentioned, but we're coming out here Friday to basically test out everything and get the, some pictures and get some videos for the venue. Um, Cause we're doing this up big to get a lot of promotional stuff in the works for basically future weddings and get the website rolling, get Instagram rolling, all that cool stuff for this awesome venue. So be on the lookout though for that gig log and all the cool stuff that's gonna be coming from this venue. I'm so excited that we are on board here to be the DJ, the in-house resident DJ for this venue. And uh, it's gonna be awesome, so excited for it. So if you guys like this video, be sure to slap the like button, smash it, all that good stuff. Leave down in the comment section down below what you guys think of this venue. I think it's pretty dope, what do you guys think? And hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications. And like always guys, keep them records spinning and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Fusion, sound and lighting, DJ Rick Webb out, peace.